Five Powerful Mindsets for Overcoming Obstacles Obstacles can be incredibly challenging, but they are unavoidable and necessary for full growth. The best way to overcome any obstacle is to change your mindset. Changing your mindset allows you to view the obstacle as an opportunity for growth, as well as brainstorm solutions to the obstacle. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you five powerful mindsets to overcome obstacles. Let's get started. 1. Focus on the positive. Even if you feel pessimistic and overwhelmed by the obstacle, it is important to keep a positive mindset. A positive mindset will help you overcome any challenge because it keeps you focused and eager in the process. Focus on any positive even if there is only one. To help you stay positive, consider having a mantra every morning to keep you motivated and enthusiastic. For example, saying something like, all obstacles are opportunities for growth, helps you focus on the positive in order to overcome all obstacles. 2. Imagination and Innovation As children, we were encouraged to be creative imaginative, and innovative. The older we get, however, the more these attributes are seen in a negative light. Despite this common perspective on creativity, imagination and innovation are what allow us to overcome any obstacle. Instead of getting stuck in a one-track mindset, build imagination and innovation into the foundation of all your thinking. You may want to think of this like designing your life. A design is something that gives you guidance, but it isn't set in stone yet. Keep imagination and innovation at the center of all your daily thinking. You'll likely notice that you're more capable of overcoming your obstacles, as well as enjoying your life. 3. Self-Compassion In Western culture, it is common for us to think of compassion in terms of others. This means that we incorporate compassion into our mindset whenever we are interacting with other people or groups. The same should happen with ourselves. All mindsets should have a factor of self-compassion. Self-compassion allows you to be understanding and kind to yourself. Without a self-compassionate mindset, you're likely to become overwhelmed and distraught whenever an obstacle comes your way. By being self-compassionate, you know that you are only human and give yourself room to fail on occasion. 4. Drop out of the competition. Many people go about viewing their life as a competition with their family, friends, co-workers, or strangers. The best way to overcome obstacles is by dropping out of the competition entirely. Instead of having a mindset of competition, change your mindset to that of a journey. Dropping out of the competition takes away a ton of unnecessary stress. When you take away the stress, you're able to think more clearly and take steps that actually satisfy your internal needs and wants. Change your mindset to that of a journey to help overcome obstacles. 5. Progress Tracking The fifth mindset to help you overcome obstacles is one of progress tracking. Whenever you want to lose weight, learn a new skill, or anything else, you often track your progress. The same should happen when you're facing an obstacle. A progress tracking mentality helps you see whenever you are succeeding. This, in part, will boost your eagerness and optimism about your obstacle. It also gives you notice about areas that are failing, giving you an opportunity to improve. As you're progress tracking, keep in mind to not be too self-critical. Conclusion Mindsets are crucial for overcoming obstacles. Incorporate any of the previous five mindsets into your life to help overcome any obstacles that might come your way. Four ways to teach your children how to overcome obstacles. As parents, it is our job to help our children learn needed skills to become functioning adults. One of the most important aspects of being a functioning adult is knowing how to overcome obstacles. Unfortunately, Many parents do not know how to teach this lesson to their children. If you want to learn about different techniques for teaching your child how to overcome obstacles, keep listening. This tutorial goes over four different ways to teach overcoming obstacles to a child. 
Let's get started. 1. Play games. Children don't like being lectured or feeling like they're in a classroom. Teach your child to overcome obstacles by turning it into a game. Something like a board game, word puzzle, or scavenger hunt will teach your child crucial problem-solving skills without it feeling like they're learning anything. As you're playing these games with your child, reinforce the ideas of perseverance and not giving up. Continue to challenge them to get better in a way that is not intimidating or harmful. And be sure to not add too much pressure from the game. 2. Help them. Many parents assume that their children do not go through their own hardships and trials. That is not true. Even though the obstacles may seem small to an adult, they feel heavy to your child. One of the best ways to teach them how to overcome obstacles is to help them whenever the obstacles come along. Children are often very keen to tell their parents whenever they're facing a problem or obstacle. Instead of either ignoring the issue or solving it for them, help your child. This makes them feel like they can trust you, all while teaching them healthy and helpful techniques for figuring out their own way out of problems. 3. Talk about problems. The dinner table is one of the best places to create a bond with your children and teach them how to overcome obstacles. Too many parents make the mistake of not giving their child the opportunity to problem solve with them. Instead of simply complaining about your own problems in front of your child, ask them their opinion. Of course, you shouldn't be asking them about serious problems that could affect their life, such as your divorce. But small problems can make them feel important and help them start learning key problem-solving techniques from a young age. For example, say that you're invited to two different events that take place at the same time, and you're trying to figure out how you should best go about it. This would be a perfect opportunity to ask your child what they think you ought to do. Respond to their idea in an uplifting and inspiring way, even if it isn't the best idea. It will make them feel important and motivate them to continue problem solving. 4. Show, don't tell. Monkey see, monkey do. Teach your child how to overcome obstacles by overcoming them yourself. Even if you're not aware of it, your child is watching you. Show them with your actions how to overcome obstacles. In other words, be open and honest with your child. Don't pretend that everything is perfect because that tells them that they are failing whenever they struggle with an obstacle. Likewise, don't ignore your problems. Instead, face them head on. Conclusion Learning how to face obstacles is one of the most important lessons you can teach your child. Incorporate the four techniques above to help them learn how to problem solve their way out of obstacles. What Psychology Says About Obstacles Believe it or not, most obstacles are in our heads. As a result, looking at psychology can help us learn how to overcome obstacles and live a better life. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you the three biggest things that psychology says about obstacles. Let's get to it. Mindset Matters The most important thing that psychology teaches us about obstacles is that mindset matters. Countless of studies have shown that a person's mindset or perspective will make all the difference. Having a defeatist or fixed mindset is a recipe for disaster, while having an optimistic and growth mindset will help you overcome any obstacle that comes your way. The worst mindset that you can have when it comes to obstacles is viewing the world as against you or viewing yourself as a failure. Both of these mindsets are guaranteed to set you up for failure. This often incites a never-ending cycle of pessimistic mindsets. In contrast, one of the best mindsets to have is a growth mindset. A growth mindset helps you view any weakness or challenge as an opportunity to grow. You don't get fixated on the negative. Instead, you know that you have the ability to get better, eventually helping you overcome the obstacle. The Stop Method Another important thing that psychology teaches us is the STOP method. STOP is an acronym for stop, take a step back, observe, and proceed. 
This method may seem incredibly basic, and it is, with good reason. Begin by stopping what you're doing whenever you're faced with an obstacle. Stopping gives you the opportunity to take a step back and observe your own emotions. Your emotions need to be recognized in any obstacle to give you a bit of guidance about yourself and the situation. Once you observe yourself, you can proceed mindfully. Mindful continuation means that you continue to touch back on your emotions and reflect on the process. This gives you the opportunity to continue to develop yourself throughout the entire obstacle. During the stop method, it is helpful to think about what advice you would give someone else if they were in your shoes. As humans, we're often much more critical and pessimistic of ourselves. By thinking about what advice you would give someone else, you take a much more unbiased perspective on your own situation. We can become more resilient. Finally, the third thing that I'm going to talk about that psychology teaches us is that we can become more resilient. What does this mean? Well, the fact that we can become more resilient tells us that we can become more capable at overcoming obstacles. The more obstacles we face, the better we will be at facing them. That's because we learn crucial facts about ourselves, the reality of the world, and overcoming obstacles with every challenge that faces us. As a result, we continue to grow so that we become better and better obstacle beaters. At this point, this fact of psychology should be ringing a bell. Doesn't it sound like what the growth mindset teaches us? It does. The fact that we can become more resilient shows exactly how the growth mindset works in life. So have a growth mindset because it is realistic to our psychology. We can become more resilient as time goes on. Final thoughts. All in all, psychology teaches us that we really shouldn't be that scared of obstacles. Instead, psychology shows us that mindset matters, the stop method works, and we can become more resilient. Together, these three teachings can help us overcome any challenge that comes our way. Five Powerful Mindsets for Overcoming Obstacles Obstacles can be incredibly challenging but they are unavoidable and necessary for full growth. The best way to overcome any obstacle is to change your mindset. Changing your mindset allows you to view the obstacle as an opportunity for growth, as well as brainstorm solutions to the obstacle. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you five powerful mindsets to overcome obstacles. Let's get started. 1. Focus on the positive. Even if you feel pessimistic and overwhelmed by the obstacle, it is important to keep a positive mindset. A positive mindset will help you overcome any challenge because it keeps you focused and eager in the process. Focus on any positive, even if there is only one. To help you stay positive, consider having a mantra every morning to keep you motivated and enthusiastic. For example, saying something like, all obstacles are opportunities for growth. Helps you focus on the positive in order to overcome all obstacles. 2. Imagination and Innovation As children, we were encouraged to be creative, imaginative, and innovative. The older we get, however, the more these attributes are seen in a negative light. Despite this common perspective on creativity, Imagination and innovation are what allow us to overcome any obstacle. Instead of getting stuck in a one-track mindset, build imagination and innovation into the foundation of all your thinking. You may want to think of this like designing your life. A design is something that gives you guidance, but it isn't set in stone yet. Keep imagination and innovation at the center of all your daily thinking you'll likely notice that you're more capable of overcoming your obstacles as well as enjoying your life. 3. Self-Compassion In Western culture, it is common for us to think of compassion in terms of others. This means that we incorporate compassion into our mindset whenever we are interacting with other people or groups. The same should happen with ourselves. All mindsets should have a factor of self-compassion. Self-compassion allows you to be understanding and kind to yourself, 
Without a self-compassionate mindset, you're likely to become overwhelmed and distraught whenever an obstacle comes your way. By being self-compassionate, you know that you are only human and give yourself room to fail on occasion. 4. Drop out of the competition. Many people go about viewing their life as a competition with their family, friends, co-workers, or strangers. The best way to overcome obstacles is by dropping out of the competition entirely. Instead of having a mindset of competition, change your mindset to that of a journey. Dropping out of the competition takes away a ton of unnecessary stress. When you take away the stress, you're able to think more clearly and take steps that actually satisfy your internal needs and wants. Change your mindset to that of a journey to help overcome obstacles. 5. Progress Tracking The fifth mindset to help you overcome obstacles is one of progress tracking. Whenever you want to lose weight, learn a new skill, or anything else, you often track your progress. The same should happen when you're facing an obstacle. A progress tracking mentality helps you see whenever you are succeeding. This, in part, will boost your eagerness and optimism about your obstacle. It also gives you notice about areas that are failing, giving you an opportunity to improve. As you're progress tracking, keep in mind to not be too self-critical. Conclusion Mindsets are crucial for overcoming obstacles. Incorporate any of the previous five mindsets into your life to help overcome any obstacles that might come your way. How Your Mindset Affects Your Success to be successful, you have to be at the top of your class, have the prettiest face, or have the most amount of resources, right? Wrong. Skills and hard work obviously affect your ability to success, but mindset may be one of the biggest determiners for success. Today, I'm going to tell you about how your mindset affects your success. Even with the right skills, you're nothing without a good mindset. Keep listening to find out what I mean. Mindsets and success. More and more studies are being done between the relationship between one's mindset and their success. Obviously, mindsets won't immediately make you rich or help you land the job you want, but they are large determiners for your happiness level and your ability to come out on top. Everyone from Forbes to the Harvard Business Review have been talking about mindsets for this very reason. Doctors who study depression, CEOs, and teachers alike all know that mindset affect your life and your ability to succeed. The best mindset for success. There are a lot of mindsets that lead to success, but the best is the growth mindset. The growth mindset tells you that you have the ability to develop your talents and skills. In other words, you aren't fixated on your weakness. Instead, you view them as opportunities to grow. The growth mindset has actually been studied quite a bit. Students who have a growth mindset are way more likely to succeed in the classroom, even if they aren't naturally as smart as some of their peers. Students with a fixed mindset, which is the opposite of a growth mindset, tend to be discouraged and give up, even if they are highly intelligent. The growth mindset really allows you to focus on yourself without comparison to others. As you do this, you get to turn yourself into the best version possible, allowing you to become successful over time. It will take a lot of effort and work as well, but the results will be worth it. Using the growth mindset to overcome obstacles Knowing about the growth mindset is meaningless if you don't know how to apply it to your life. So it is important to know how to use a growth mindset to overcome obstacles. To put it bluntly, a growth mindset simply means that you view your weaknesses and obstacles as an opportunity for growth. Take, for instance, that you want a promotion at work. But there are a lot of other great competitors that equally deserve it. Instead of giving up and accepting defeat, a growth mindset tells you that this is an opportunity to develop yourself as a person and worker. As a result, your actions should be geared towards finding your weaknesses and turning them into strengths. As you continue to do this in the workplace, your coworkers and boss will notice the difference. 
although the promotion isn't guaranteed. You'll be more likely to get it this year or next simply because you've put in so much work to improve yourself for the betterment of the office. Your career isn't the only place that will benefit from a growth mindset. School, family, relationships, and anything else you could face in life will be benefited from a growth mindset. Final thoughts. Once again, mindsets will largely determine your ability to come out on top. The growth mindset is easily one of the best mindsets to focus on throughout your life or whenever you face obstacles. The growth mindset will allow you to become the best version of yourself, making it easier to face your obstacles head on.